Hey guys, and welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. Had to think about it then for a second. So in the last episode, we got our um, hunting skill uh, up one level. And we also managed to find ourselves a machine gun with Irish's help. Kind of, anyway. So now we've got to go visit Irish again, but he's all the way over the other bloody side of the map. And, hello. This is rather unexpected. What do we have here? Looks like we found another cannibal. Seems to be more of those than I remember. <laughs> That's a rather unfortunate situation to be in. Well, let's go help this fella. Now, I did stumble across an armadillo whilst I was scavenging the camp there. And I'm pretty sure we're going to find two this more. Is this is dirty. So that's going to get us at least half of that challenge complete. The newest challenge anyway. Rank four. And what's this we're skinning here? Eh, we found a rabbit. I suppose that'll go in the pot. Right, let's go free matey boy. Irish can wait for now. No! Why? <laughs> okay, that makes no sense. I don't know why he's like, no, why? He just saved his ass. Maybe we should have left him, you know, to his fate. But John's not that cruel. At least not in this timeline. Now, if you hear that little piggy sort of noise, that's an armadillo. And the auto aim is completely failing there. Now, you've got to be careful of armadillos because if you shoot them with anything bigger than a pistol, they do just disappear. They explode into a pink mist. And I'm pretty sure that was two. Yeah, I think that was two. So, yeah, we go looking whilst the going's good to try and find one more. And I believe in the not too distant future, we're going to find it. You just got to keep your ears peeled for that kind of piggy onkin sort of sound. Oh, that, that, you can hear it. There he is. Got him. No running in my desert, friend. So, that's our armadillos done. We just need to get the uh, boar tusks. Now, continuing on our journey, we discover an outlaw running from the feds. So, we decide to be a good Samaritan. That um, lawman just spat on the criminal. That was quite funny. Oh, oh, more escaping prisoners. Well, we'd be rude to uh, not intervene, wouldn't it? Might as well just shoot them. It's quicker that way. I think you might get less rewards if you shoot them, but like tying them up and taking them back. Nah, screw that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, and I feel good about myself. So let's continue our long and arduous journey across New Austin. And here we go. Uh, okay, we've arrived in rather hostile times. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was going on here when we got here. <clears throat> Literally, um, a few people were running around town killing everybody. I don't know if this was story related. <laughs> Someone just... Someone just hoses down a nun. Oof. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, she's trying to... She's getting cruel towards your god. Cruel towards your god. Come on. I believe in it. Oh, she's all right. Okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was happening there. I guess the Lord didn't come down and save her. 
shocking, right? So yeah, I didn't actually do anything to start this. I just turned up and everybody was shooting each other, if I remember correctly. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend Amnesia. Oh, blimey! I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there! Oh, 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 oh Mr. Marston. Uh, how are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. <laughs> ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh... Please excuse us. Now, Irish, that Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you <laughs> when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the, the parts for you. Ah. Now, now, I don't know how we know that the Gatling gun doesn't work, but we're going to take John's word for it. Sorry, but I got a wife. Look at this guy. I ain't never lost no fight. He's walking around stumbling like a pisshead with his gun in his hand. He just collapses in the middle of the street. Brilliant. The average day in America, I guess. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. <laughs> Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. <laughs> you're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church has more money than anybody. He's not wrong, to be fair. But I don't think those two ladies had it. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble tongued fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're going to be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. So we get to meet Shaky and, on, well, Shaky's a character. I like Shaky. We only see him this once though, I believe. Well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning mm. to lose my patience. Sounds like whatever deal Mr. Irish had set up for us hasn't, uh, or certainly isn't going the way it was planned. Out of all the people that um, John rags on pretty hard, like, Irish really does get the brunt of it. All right, we should be able to get in here. Understandably so, to be fair. I mean, at the end of the day, he literally just is a drunk coward. Sounds like Shake has only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> well, that's right. bad. Now all you have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly 
Adult, my boy. <laughs> you sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Hmm. <laughs> He's a better man than you, I guess. Good luck. Well, we're not going to be getting in the front door. Or at least even the side door. Time for some ladder action. So, looks like Shaky is taking a bit of a beating by some fellas that he seems to know. So, let's get our best sneak on. Now, the stealth mechanics in this game are... I mean, they're not existent, let's just be honest. But we'll make do. We really are going to town on the poor lad. But then, I guess he's trying to rip them off, so... It's fine. Now, I did try and go for some kind of, like, cool backstab stealth attack on this guy. But I don't know if this game has anything like that. Where did I mean, maybe it does. I think uh, GTA 3, um, Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, I think they all kind of had it. But uh, don't quote me. So it looks like the rest of the bastards are upstairs. Working old shaky over. That's fine. I think we've had enough of stealth for now. Can't see why we can't just shoot our way in. Makes sense. What have we got here? Three sacks of shit. And one that's kind of tucked away. Can't really get a good angle on this guy. He also aims just not picking him up. No matter how we try. We do try to go for a bit of um, dead eye here as well, but for some reason that's not working either. So. Liberal bullets to the brain do the job. Thank you for your kindness, Mr. Mister. I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. John is not in a very John is not in a very good mood today. He's extra grumpy. He's got his grumpy socks on. Still, I guess there's only one way out of this situation. <laughs> yeah, stop uh, goading those guys, Shaky. They're supposed to be on our side. <laughs> I love his star. Backs me up. Ooh. Straight through the brain. Yeah, I'm not sure I trust Shaky covering me, but whatever. Anyway, let's harvest some of these guys' pockets. Don't you stand there. Open this door. You're all right, Shaky. We're just, you know, trying to get a little sun sun for ourselves. Come on, um, mister. We're more spit ducks in here. I'm sure you can understand, Shaky. <laughs> All right. So I don't know who we're actually uh, ripping off this time. I don't know if these are like gang members or if they're just, you know, the warehouse staff. Um, you know, back in the old west and probably even today, every American has like 36 guns strapped to their waist. <coughs> Tis the way, you see. <laughs> well, it ain't that guy that's burning to death. 
Ah, I just missed it. Yeah, let's go get that am 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 ammunition. But like I say, it never really explains why the gun doesn't work. Um, and then John says something about its missing parts. And then all of a sudden it's ammunition that we need. So, okay. I mean, technically ammunition is uh, a vital part of the weapon. Almost um, kind of feels like there's like one cutscene missing or something, or one mission. Even shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck him. Fuck. Fucking. Fuck. Come on, then, Johnny. Fuck him. Brilliant. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I'd kill a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the drama. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's <laughs> gonna drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. I don't think he's got a holster though, has he? He just like sticks his gun down his pants. At least that's the way it looks. Nope, oh, trouble's afoot. Damn, I knew they wouldn't give up that easy. They never give up that easy. Oh, we've got the precious cargo on board. Shame we don't have the uh, machine gun on board. That would certainly make a bit of a difference here. As long as we've got plenty of ammo. A piece of artillery. Well, that's what we like. Yeah, way ahead of you, Shake. Um, Irish. Way ahead. Just keep working these chumps over. One bullet at a time. Yeah, the physics engine in this game really is quite impressive when it's working correctly. It really is. Hell of a team, me and you. We should consider making this a more permanent partnership. I think I've not had my fill of liars in this life, partner. Well, I think you're ready for parts, master. You've got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm going to need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time to <laughs> pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. <laughs> I'm sure it'd be fine, Irish. West Dickens' wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Yeah, and the sooner we're rid of him, the better as well, Mr. West Dickens. This bloody snake oil selling bastard. Peddling poisons children. Well, peddling poisons is just about anybody that will take it, actually. But anyway, guys, that's going to have to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, till next time.